John Eats Cheap with another one of my favorites from when I was a kid, a casserole that my mom made that was comfort food. It was ingredients that I wasn't necessarily a fan of, but altogether they were actually pretty good. It's only five ingredients. I grew up in the 60s and 70s, casseroles were huge. And this was one that I see in a lot of the old church cookbooks. They're all a little bit different, but here's the way my mom made it. It consists of a pound of ground beef, some celery, some onion, a can of cream of mushroom soup. You know what, the cream soups, always in the casseroles, and chow mein noodles. It's a chow mein casserole, one of my favorites with John H. Cheap. All right, our ground beef is all ground up, so I'm gonna add my celery. I don't know what that is, half a cup of each of celery and like chopped onion. Or, like a stock of celery? Yeah, probably a stock. Mine was frozen. I just want to get that in there, get it good and mixed up. You know what, I think I'm going to deglaze this a little. Actually, it's kind of sticking us. It wasn't very fatty ground beef. Just add a little water there, just so it won't stick. If you had like open broth or something, could you use that? Sure, yeah, use a beef broth or a chicken broth, either one. So I just want to get this good and mixed up. We don't really need to cook those. And I thought of something else. I called an audible. I thought, you know what, we're using cream of mushroom soup. Why don't I add one of my items I say to always have in the pantry, a can of mushrooms. So I'm gonna add a green can of mushrooms. Add that in there. Those are big pieces. I'll try to cut those down a little bit. And I'm also going to add my can of cream of mushroom soup. Sometimes you get lucky and this comes right out. Sometimes not so much. Often makes a weird sound. Come on, second half. There we go. It came out pretty good. Scrape a little bit out of there. You can also, I've seen recipes that use cream of mushroom and cream of chicken or cream of celery. You know, the trinity of cream soups. Mix two of them together if you want. I'm just going to use one. We're going to mix this all up. Oh, I missed a piece of celery. This is like classic hot dish. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it really is. I mean, I get, you know, what do you cook it at on the oven? It's preheated to 350 until bubbly. Classic instructions. You see how that's... Coming together, looking like a casserole. I might even add just a little bit of milk to this just to thin it out a little, cause let me get my noodles. My chow mein noodles. You wanna mix a few of them in, not too much, cause we're gonna put some on top too, but these will soak up some liquid. So yeah, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to this. Yeah, I don't want it soupy by any means, but I want it a little more liquid. Because those chow mein noodles will soak that up a little bit. And the soup, too. It'll thicken up. But that's it. I added a little salt and pepper to the ground beef when I browned it. That's looking like chow mein casserole. Your classic. One of many, many hot dishes. I love making these. They're so good. And so many great memories. So now it's ready to go. I found the right size casserole dish, just sprayed it with nonstick spray. This is a great thing about these. This went together in like 10 minutes. We'll bake it probably for 30 until it's good and bubbly. And that's why they were so popular for moms cooking at home. You could add a little cheese to this, I suppose. I don't do that because there's not much cheese in Chinese dishes, if, if you want to call this Chinese food. When I was growing <laughs> up, this is Chinese food. My mom made this. And she made beef chow mein, which was ground beef, celery, bean sprouts, bamboo shoots, and water chestnuts. And serve it over these exact same noodles. And I could not stand it. I would drown it in so much soy sauce, because I loved salt, and that was the only way I could eat it. I was not a fan of that. And far from authentic chow mein. Okay, now we're just gonna see it fits in that dish perfectly. Just top it with some noodles. Let's give it a little crunchy top, kind of like when you put, you know, the, the crackers or the 
the panko crumbs or the potato chips on top of mac and cheese, something like that. There we go. And we're just gonna throw this in. What's the rule for casseroles? 350 until it's bubbly. There we go, chow mein casserole. Uh, kind of a classic hot dish type of thing. And see, I took it out because it's bubbly all the way. It was actually in about 40 minutes. I'm just gonna scoop a little out here. You should probably let it set, you know, five minutes or so after you pull it out. But you know me, I'm not a patient person. And you probably wanna add a little salt and pepper. Well, I let this cool just a hair, let me say. Reminder, thanks for watching. Click like, the thumbs up if you like the videos and subscribe so you know when we put out a new video we do it twice a week at least and i love doing these and i thank you for watching follow us on facebook too also twitter and instagram mm. this smells good and like i said the only thing it's it's called the uh, you know chow mein casserole the only thing chow mein is these noodles but it's very tasty and comforting This is the hard part with a casserole. Mm. Actually, it doesn't need much salt. But, very good. It's beefy. I love the crunch. You got the vegetables. I mean, this is like a, a full meal. Comfort food, a great memory. Chow mein casserole with John H. Cheap. Thanks for watching.